In this class, you'll study how to use the flip action to flip blocks. Let's use the drawing of a 90 degree elbow fitting and enable the block command. Select the objects included in the block, define the name as 90 degree elbow and millimeters for the units of measurements. After the option is enabled, click OK and go to the block editor. Click Base Point Parameter on the Parameters tab to define the block insertion base point, in this case the displayed location. Now click Flip Parameter on this tab. In this case you need to define two points for the flip center line. Define the midpoint of the vertical line and the end point. And to conclude, define the label location. See the exclamation point shows you need to input an action. Click the Actions tab and select Flip Action option. In this case, the command requests the parameter selection, the flip object selection, and the action label location. Then let's select the previously created parameter and all the objects on the screen and place the label near flip state. So in this process you define to flip vertically the block. Let's create a manipulator to flip it horizontally. To facilitate the process, let's select a parameter set and action on this tab as shown. After enabling the command, identify two points on the flip line, so in this case it will be the midpoint of this line and the end point. Place the respective labels. In this case the exclamation point is on the action. Double click it and now you have to select the objects for this action, in this case all of them. See how the exclamation disappeared. Let's save the block definitions and exit from the editor. Now let's test the block. See how easy it is to flip the block.